Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Emily Rittman. Greg Payne is off tonight. COVID-19 vaccinations in the U.S. are up 26% from three weeks ago. The CDC says vaccinations have risen steadily over the past three weeks, even in southern states where data shows there's a strong hesitancy against the shot. One man from Georgia says a $50 incentive helped him make the decision to get the vaccine. The 50 is, was about right to get me out here, but like I was saying, it really needed to be 100. And if I didn't need the money, I would have held out for the 100 until they started off. Because I know eventually they're going to have to go up. Because some people are only going to come for an incentive. Uh, you know, they just don't care or scared of the vaccine or whatever. But you throw an incentive behind it and, you know, people will do it. So. Earlier this week, President Joe Biden encouraged states to offer cash incentives to get people vaccinated. Missouri has been one of the hardest hit states by the Delta variant. Today, dozens of people got their COVID-19 shot at a vaccination clinic in Independence. KCTV5's Carolina Cruz spoke with people who say they weren't against getting the shot, but didn't feel a sense of urgency until now. The pandemic didn't change much for Garrett Fry and his wife. She's immunocompromised, so they always follow measures of infection control, including masking. I'm used to going through those kind of protocols anyway. So, so really, to me, it, it just wasn't a big emergency to get it done. This other variant that come out, D, has got me kind of worried. So that's one of the other reasons that I decided to go down and get a, a shot today. Fry got the one-shot Johnson & Johnson vaccine. When I go get my flu shots through the VA, I do exactly the same thing. I go through a drive through and just bam, bam, and we're off we go. Like Fry, Tanya Johnson was waiting. Up until recently, she didn't have a primary doctor. In October, my doctor died from COVID. With a new doctor to rely on to answer her questions, she was motivated. She expressed her worry about the Delta variant. The CDC warns it appears to spread as easily as chicken pox and causes more severe infection. If we're really trying to get on top of this thing, it really would take everybody doing their part. Not saying that if you, you're still going to make whatever decision. I made my decision just for all of these reasons that, that are happening. She didn't like seeing Missouri in the spotlight for low vaccination rates and high COVID cases. Most of her family is vaccinated, but she just received her first dose of Pfizer this weekend. Why did you wait so long? I procrastinated. We have a complete vaccination rate of still less than 40%, and the goal is to get between 70 and 80%, so we have a long way to go. Jackson County is lagging in the vaccination effort, but Amanda Mason, a COVID-19 vaccine lead for the state of Missouri, wants events like this one to boost numbers especially for working families and those who still have questions. The most common questions we get is which vaccine should I get? Whether it's a single dose or a two dose, the goal of the clinic was to protect more families from COVID-19 in our area. They will offer second Pfizer doses in three weeks. In Independence, Carolina Cruz, KCTV 5 News.